Alright, All right, guys, uh, we need to uh, go over the rules of this competition, the uh, El Guapo. I know there's probably a lot of questions out there, but anyways, this is the way we're going to do it. Uh, competitors will be roping out of the herd. You basically have a, uh, a herd of 10 calves in the pen, and uh, they'll be numbered 1 to 10, and a guy will go in as he goes in, number will be called out of his calf and that's the calf that he's got to, to get roped. Uh, number two, the competitors will draw numbers for animals and that will be the order in which they will go. That's that's pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, whenever you sign up, pay your money, um, you'll draw a number out of a hat. That number will be your animal and it'll also be the number in which you will uh, go in the competition. Uh, that'll be done each each round separately. There'll be a six minute time limit to get the job done. Uh, when six minutes is up, if you haven't uh, finished the job, uh, your time's up, DQ. Uh, <clears throat> the run is over. You're done with your run after you lay the calf down, you get off your horse, and retrieve your rope and let the calf up. That's when your that's when your run is complete. Uh, you've got a two shot minimum to get the uh, get the animal roped. If you can't get it done in two shots, DQ. Uh, your run's over. Um, all catches are legal. Um, whenever you're out here doctoring cattle, you may catch a neck and a front leg. You may catch them deep. You may catch a back leg, you may catch a front leg, uh, but all that is legal in this competition, and here's why. The reason why is, is that sometimes you, you get dealt a, a bad hand and you just have to make chicken salad out of chicken you know what. And if you can do that slick, and, and be, it be good for the animal, good for your horse, and good for you, then uh, you can complete your run. I'm gonna mark you, uh, a good score if you get the job done and you have trouble and you still get it done just smooth and, and easy so that's what that's what that is uh, you get three attempts to lay the calf down uh, after if the calf gets up a fourth time the runs over and that's just to take care of our cattle and uh, and not abuse them um, it's not it, it, it's just the luck of the draw if you get a pup that's it's easy, that's, that's great. If you get one that's a lot more challenging, you need to have a plan for if you got a calf that's getting up a bunch on what you're gonna do. So think about that. You don't wanna get DQ'd because they get up three times. You can do to, to get that job done uh, and not get DQ'd. But three times, if they get up a fourth, it, it, the run's over. Um, the, uh, the way the money's gonna work, is it's a, a $50 entry fee for each round, okay? Uh, each round's gonna cost 50 bucks. There's gonna be a 75% payback. So we've got a stock charge. Uh, there's gonna be 20 competitors. We're gonna limit the event to 20 competitors. Uh, so that <clears throat> that's $3,000 for all three rounds. So it's $1,000 a round, obviously. Uh, it's 75% payback. So It'll be it'll be twenty two fifty for the whole all three rounds, yeah. and then it'll be seven hundred fifty dollars per round to be paid out, and we're gonna pay first, second, and third per round. Uh, the uh, the stock costs us money, and we gotta have sixty head uh, to uh, to accommodate uh, three rounds of this stuff. So uh, with with twenty contestants. Uh, Let's see. The other thing is, is that each go round winner will advance to the short go. If if you win a go around, you automatically go to the short go. If you win the next go round or one of the other two go rounds, <clears throat> you don't get a shot at the the short go twice. You only go once. If you win the same, the second round or the third round, and you've won the first, 
you still get paid first place money in that round, but the second place contestant will go to the short go because you've already won once. So we need three contestants for the short go. Um, if you win the short go, it's a winner take all, 500 bucks. So the, uh, the winner of, of the one man doctrine has got the potential to take home nearly $1,000 depending on what the uh, first place payout is going to be of the of the round. Uh, let's see. Scoring, this is, a, this is a unique deal. Contestants will be the judges. So if you enter, you're a judge. And you're going to, each, each guy that goes in, you're going to watch his run. It's going to be scored on a scale of one to five. If it's a bad run, one. If it's a good run, five. Anything in between, I mean, that's the way it works. So each each contestant will be judged by his peers. Uh, <clears throat> if there's a tie in the, in a round, if, if two guys tie, they'll just instantly be a rope off. If, if two guys get uh, 50 points apiece, you'll walk right back in there and get another calf, and you'll be judged the same way. It's just th just that easy. Uh, we're trying to make this simple. Um, so let's see here. Uh, disqualifications. Uh, if you scatter the herd when you go into it, you're not you're not slick. You don't have you stockmanship. If you scatter the herd whenever you go in to make your next shot, uh, DQ. If you if you take your animal out and cut him out and you line him out. And, and run him down and get him necked and he's coming back to the herd and you don't shut him down and he scatters that herd, DQ. You, you can't, you got to keep the integrity of the herd put together. Uh, that, that's just the way it goes. You lose your rope, DQ. Uh, the, uh, this is a, a long rope, slick horn event. Uh, tying off hard and fast is, is not, uh, it's not legal. We don't do it. I understand in in situations in different parts of the country tying off hard and fast fast is necessary guys do it and it needs to be done but in this in this competition this is a slick horn long rope event uh, jerking a calf down if you jerk your jerk your calf down and you're not easy with him that's a disqualification uh, the rules will be discussed again at a uh, contestants meeting at right before the competition for any questions that anybody might have. Uh, guys, I hope you show up. Last year we had a had a, a lot of fun doing this, and it was a uh, is about one of the funnest things I've I've done horseback. So uh, we're trying to keep it simple and fun, and uh, hope to see you there. Thank you.